Well, if you're looking for something to do this weekend besides what, sit on the porch and drink lemonade, as Alex yeah. says, I'll suggest it. <laughs> Why not check out the toughest sport on dirt? Bull riding. Mm, now, from being from Texas, did you do a lot of these? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay, well, <laughs> but I did watch a lot of them. She watched a lot of them. She participated <laughs> all weekend. That's happening at the Peoria Civic Center, and Lauren Melendez is there. <laughs> Check her out. She's looking pretty in pink while she's getting down and dirty in that mud. And what we want to know is how did you get coerced <laughs> into this? <laughs> Listen, guys, talk to the managers about that. Good afternoon. First and foremost, before we even jump into anything, I want Alex, you and Simone, you know, and all the folks watching at home, just think back into your memory banks. Remember back when we were in school and we had career day and we had the doctors and the lawyers and the firefighters come in and talk to us about what it takes to do that. Did you ever have a professional bull rider? No, me neither. Well, that's okay, because I've got my buddy Brian Pittman here. He is a professional bull rider. And Brian, I need you to just tell folks at home, what in the world does it take to do this job? I just believe in yourself. That's where it all starts at. If you can believe in yourself, you can do anything you want to do. So I need you, how do you, how do you even get into a field like this? Do you just wake up and say, yeah, well, I want to ride a bull? No, my, my dad and grandpa did it, so that's all I've ever known. That's, seeing them grow up, that's what I knew I wanted to be at, and I knew if I, they were pretty good, I wanted to be just as good, if not better. Now, Brian and I were talking earlier, and he said he's been doing this since he was three, but when was the first time you ever stepped, or, or I should say sat on a bull? Uh, I was about 15 or 16. That's my first bull I got on and I did really good so I was kind of impressed with myself and after that it didn't go so good for a little bit and then I just finally started clicking and it went good again. He was kind of impressed with himself. I think if I got on a bull I would fall off. Now in terms of practicing, what does that look like? Is it every single day? Is there a certain form you need to take? Uh, it used to be that way. I used to practice every single day but the older you get you kind of get smarter and you just kind of, it's a muscle memory. It's like riding a bike so if you're good at that I'm you know, I've done it for so long, it's just kind of keep doing But I do a lot of cardio, and I keep my body pretty fit, so that's kind of how I move on day by day. So you're not at home like Alex and Simone, uh, uh, drinking that lemonade on the porch, huh? No, I do no. like sweet tea, though. <laughs> all right, well, I'm so excited. We're going to be here tomorrow. It all kicks off at 7 o'clock, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and Prairie State, get ready, because the Civic Center is about to look like nothing you've ever seen. Again, tickets are on sale, so don't miss out on this. We've got information on week.com, but also... Wait, there's more. My buddy Brian and I are coming back in the next half hour, and I'm going to ride a bull. Isn't that right? Yes, ma'am, you sure are. <laughs> I don't know if management's going to go for that, <laughs> but Brian does have some really cool stuff in store. You're going to be showing them some of the gear that you've got, right? Yes, ma'am, I sure am. All right, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 30 minutes. Check in back with us for now live in downtown Peoria at the Civic Center for 25 News. I'm Lauren Melendez. I like sweet Lauren, tea. Lauren, thank you. He <laughs> likes sweet tea, I too. Like sweet tea. I'm not missing Lauren on a bull to save anybody's life. I'm not missing <laughs> that. I cannot wait. 30 minutes, I have to hurry up and get here. <laughs> Where are you going?